they can tell me, hey, I'm gonna, you know, jump into whatever hotbed infested zone and it's gonna be wild. It doesn't compare to a doctor telling me in a quiet, well-lit room that you have an aggressive form of cancer. That just sunk me. 9-11 kind of clinched it for me, so and that's when I, that's when I signed up. All right, you know, I'll, I'll answer the call to, you know, see, see what happens. I've been to a couple places, Iraq, Afghanistan, of course. Yeah, I thank God I've, I've come home each time with, with un, unscathed. And then, you know, to, to come home and, and this happened was just, it was, it was devastating. I was coming home from Afghanistan. Uh, had a, our, we had our second child on the way. And so, you know, we welcomed our daughter to this world and, you know, everything was great. Well, you know, when they say something hits you like a ton of bricks, like, I, now I get that. There was one weekend that he slept the whole weekend, which is very out of character for him. I was getting really winded running with my team. Then I started having kind of a chest pain, shortness of breath, stuff like that. He called and he was like, he's like, they found a fist sized tumor in my chest. And I remember saying, that's not funny, you know? And so they rushed me to emergency surgery. They went ahead and biopsied the tumor to determine what it was. And, uh, and it turned out to be uh, AML. You think, I'm not gonna survive this. You know, there's, there's no way I've gotten, there's, there, there's too much stacked against me uh, for me to make it through this. So before I even met Art, we had reviewed his case and we knew Art was serious. He had a very large mass in his abdomen and I knew that he was definitely going to transplant. What I probably didn't expect is how young he was and how young his wife was and how he had a small child. And I think that was extremely impactful for me. And I remember hanging out with uh, Emily sometimes and you know, she was just a little, just a little baby uh, hanging out in the, her little rocker and just, and just just being so crushed. Like I'll be dead within a year and she's not gonna remember me. And you know, initially it was very, very hard emotionally to deal with that. Art's ethnicity was a concern for me. We didn't know if we would find an appropriate match. What was my concern is that we would find a poor match um, and would still have to proceed with a risky transplant given the risky nature of his leukemia. I have not met this angel. All I know is that she's a 30 years old, a female living in the United States. Through her, through her kindness, through her donation, uh, you know, I'm here today. This is a man who survived many things, did many missions, and it hits me like a ton of bricks, but certainly it is very important for me that he sees his children grow up. Fighting cancer has been the most traumatic thing I have experienced in my life. Putting combat and everything aside, I mean, this, this was it for me as far as the battle of a lifetime, you know. Well, the thing with cancer is it doesn't discriminate. So it's important to give because it could be one day be you. And even if it's not you, I mean, you know, one day there might be a cure or a better cure. But looking at my daughter now, it, it is different. It's like there's hope. There's, there's, there's hope for a future.